a discussion on the response of the Electoral Commission, which now is their former opposition. It is going to be unwavering. Nothing could stop that. And as a result of that, well, we have to head into the elections the way the register is. And it will mean, based on what the Electoral Commission is saying, we're going to have the register also displayed even electronically. So you can go on, I'm sure, on a platform and then also get to know. You can also use the various short codes based on the communication they are talking about. We're grateful for all of you joining us. Um, Caleb, I see Anda as well. Uh, Wahab, Gungu, and a number of you. Maria, uh, thank you for joining us as always. Let me just uh, do an introduction of our discussions this morning. Kofi Tonto uh, is right here with us. Good morning, Kofi. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm well. And then I have um, lawyer Apia Dankwa. Good morning to you. Uh, morning. Mm. Good morning. And uh, Ibrahim Amaleba, lawyer as well. Good morning. Mr. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right. Um, Kwame Jantua, good morning. Good morning. Okay, great. Now, the <coughs> Electoral Commission's Deputy Commissioner for Electoral Services has been speaking, Dr. Bosman Asari, and this is his comment. You know, uh, the time they were having, uh, uh, the, uh, they, they had the, uh, the peaceful demonstration, we had just finished our uh, nomination exercise. Mm -hmm. And when you do the nominations, you go through a lot of uh, processes. You have to review uh, the documents, all those, the candidates brought uh, the presidential as well as even the parliamentary at the constituency level. So all these were activities being undertaken by the Electoral Commission. And now we had to announce that some people had qualified uh, to proceed to the next stage, which is becoming candidates for president, and others were uh, equally uh, not successful or they were disqualified. So as a commission, we've We've been doing a lot of things. So mm -hmm. I think that even within these nine days, we've done well to be able to put these comprehensive uh, responses mm -hmm. together, which I think that any, anyone who reads it will realize that this is a commission that really means mm -hmm. uh, good for the people of this country and for the advancement of our electoral democracy. I see. But um, so if the commission had a lot to do, uh, wouldn't, would it then be the case that you didn't have time to go through uh, the... NDC's petition. Reason your position has not changed. No, you know when you when you look at NDC's petition and the responses we have provided, we've looked at each item. So all the responses have been provided, and there's a reason why I was making the point that anyone who reads, if you have read the petition by the NDC and you read the responses uh, proffered by the commission, you realize that everything has been tackled. And Indeed. I believe but, but that the point I'm making is that when I read and I have read your um, your response to the NDC. It would appear that you have just regurgitated in print what you said, read during your news conference in response to the original demands from you. I, don't, I think this is, this, this is completely uh, different, largely because uh, this one, we've gone to, into some specifics okay. and some of the legal uh, provisions in our, uh, in, in our CI, so we've gone into specific. Well, they had some uh, items that were listed. For example, they were talking about using the provisional register for the nomination process, which we've responded based on what the law says. So I mm. think that the uh, commission has done a very uh, decent job. Indeed. And, th and this is uh, on hot issues. We'll be aired 2 p.m. on Sunday with Kemeni Nyamani Amano. But, uh, Mr. Maliba, that's a response. I'm wavering. No change. Where do we move from here? Good morning to your viewers. The EC is the most incorrigible, embarrassing institution I have ever come across. Why? Because they didn't accede to your demands. When you read their answer to our petition, they largely agree to the discrepancies we talked about. If you've read it, they agree. I have. You see that they first admit. But what do they do? They try to explain our way. They say we should clap for them because they are one of the best electoral management uh, bodies in Africa or in the world. How can in an electoral commission that disenfranchise a group of people and today they have no representation in parliament? call itself as one of the best institutions. 
Do they know that if it were some other serious jurisdictions, the EC, all of them would have been gone. See the, see the style, the, 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 the coup d'etat style they use in stopping the people of Sal. Coup d'etat. You promise the people they will vote on the thief, midnight, when everybody is sleeping, you utter a letter that the people of Sal cannot vote for a representative in parliament. And when they are going to talk, we are the best. What, how can that be the best? Tell me which, is, which, which election management body in the world has so disenfranchised people to the extent that they don't have a representation in, 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 in parliament. You are not ashamed of yourself. You say you are the best institution. But based on the elections they've organized since 1992 or 93, they are the best. I'm talking about this 92. current, yeah, they win the best. Time pass. Time pass, I have no problem. Time pass, I have no problem. But these current people, but see the bane, the bane of this electoral commission is the kind of appointments that the president has made to the institution. That's the bane of this electoral commission. Partisan people, and I'm even told, and one of them called me, the, the what, what do they call them? The region, is it district, original, uh, those who man their- Regional directors. The, the regional directors. One of the regional directors told you what? And these directors have been removed because they feel some of them are not playing ball. They feel some of them are not doing their bidding. So they now go and put people, they think they are MPP people there, and these are the people who are now recruiting the, um, the retainer officers. Uh, how, how do you know? They, they, they elect people, so, and then they also they appoint people. And if they, somebody... they, will adver they, they will advertise, but they will know the people they were going to pick. So this electoral commission, it's not the electoral commission that you can say you have trust in. And in these elections, I can tell you, in these elections, the NDC is going to go into the elections with its own referee. We are not going to rely on any electoral officer. See, do you know that they have acceded to one of our demands? Which is what? Re-exhibition. You know, it's one of our demands. Re-exhibition of the register. It's one of our demands. But they are just saying that they will do it electronically, online. They have agreed that people's names were missing in the register. However, Listen to our explanation. However, you can find it in the transfer list. You can find it in the... The missing. The, can you imagine? So if I go to the, my police station on the day, they can't find my name on the main register. Then they go and find it in the missing list, uh, what, uh, what, what transfer list. And I'm going to vote. The MPP man will say that, no, no, no. Your name is not there. See the chaos that is going to take place. Are you following what I'm saying? If I go to the register, to the, my police station, and then they can't find my name in the main list, and they happen to find my name, as they explain, in the transfer list, and I'm going to vote, the MPP man, agent, will raise an objection. And that is a chaotic situation you are going to have. So, they have largely agreed to all that we have said, but they are simply saying that they won't allow for forensic audit. But I thought that an institution that is suffering from credibility deficit, because when you look at the CDD report about the credibility of the EC, it's low there. One would have expected that they would have opened up and tried to ensure that when the forensic audit is done, their credibility will also show up. But opaque as they are, um, doing the bidding of somebody's, uh, 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 doing the bidding of somebody has also blindfolded them to the extent that they wouldn't want those things to be done. But what is our response? We'll meet as a party over the EC. We've already indicated some of the things we will do when we did our last uh, presser, uh, when we met the CSOs. Which is what? We will go, the demonstration will go to the district levels. You intend demonstrating oh, down yes. to the district I've level? I've told you. To what end and purpose? No, no, I've told you that, listen, we'll go, we'll, we'll now receive their response. 
we'll go and look at the response. But what is rolling, we have already indicated that to the public, that the district levels will also have their demonstrations. Whether that, would, whether that would take place or not will depend on our meeting to decide on what to do, considering their response. But their response clearly shows that, but for we raising the issues, this register was going to go the way it, it came. And is it only the NDC? Alain Germante has called for the register to be audited. Is it only the NDC? Ordinary Ghanaians, last week, you had ordinary Ghanaians calling into your studio here and telling you that their names could not be found. You remember we were here showing, showing a, 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 a register for, of, of Akusombo, Esujamai. Why that register only had one person's name? When indeed there were about 300 people who registered in that place. You know there's a court case that has taken place in Kumasi. And the court has indicated that they should expand 1,000 people. So these people were inside. So if the court has said that, that isn't it, as it were, a clear indication that the register should be audited? Because even the courts have said that, expunge some names. But their names are there. Expunge it. It means that it goes to buttress our point that that register needs to be looked at forensically. Mm. Kofi Tonto, you seem to have been vindicated all along. I mean, I'm talking about the ruling party, not you personally. Oh, vindicated in what sense? In terms of the modalities and the procedures that the EC needs to adopt to make sure that whatever infractions or anomalies have been noticed, all stakeholders should come on board, report that to the EC, and the EC will do the corrective. That, that's been the convention. I mean, that's been the procedure in the past. Um, it's not about being vindicated. It's about what the law says. And it's important that we put out what the law says. Just a very quick summary. Once we do the register, a provisional result is put out. A copy of that provisional result is given to register, sorry, provisional register is given to the political parties. And then it is also put out for voters to go and then verify their information. That is a form of audit. That is what the CI says ought to be done. That's the law. So the issue my senior brother Amaliba enumerated, they are nothing new. That is why it is called a provisional register. Because the law anticipates that there can be issues with the register. Therefore, we call it a provisional register and then we exhibit that provisional register. One, to identify what the challenges are. So it is possible that some person's name, which were supposed to be in, were not there. That is what the exhibition is supposed to do. Identify these challenges and solve it. It is possible that there could be uh, uh, wrong transfers or challenges with transfers. That is why the law is there. It is also possible that there will be dead people on the register. That is why we do the exhibition. So the points that you are raising, it's nothing new. So to, to sit here, my senior brother, to sit here and create the impression as though finding challenges in the provisional register is something new that we've never seen in this world. And that the EC has acceded to what you said. That's nothing new. The EC has acceded to so many issues political parties have raised in the past. That's, there are dead people. Yes, it's possible there are dead people. Give us a list of the dead people. You raise an issue that you have, uh, you have concerns with 311,000 people. 50,000 people dead. Uh, 3,000 people illegally deleted, you call it. Uh, 15,000 illegally transferred. And 243,000 persons within the transfer space that you don't understand why they were transferred. Total of about 311,000 people. The EC says, give us a list of these 311,000 people so we can proceed to do what the law says, what the CI says, and what the convention has been. He said, no, we won't give you the list. We don't trust you. 
You trust the EC enough to go and submit your forms to contest. This is the hypocrisy. You trust the very same EC but who enough. Should they, who should they submit their forms to? Ah. But who should they submit the list to? What does the law know? What does the law say on submitting the list? Is there another agency? In no. In Tell me, does the law... In 2015, yeah. 2016, yeah. when you had the uh, pro-MPP uh, groups, let my vote count, and even the presidential candidate yeah. at the time, and all the advocates including civil society yeah. and the media, saying that the EC should accede to the demands mm -hmm. of, the, of the now ruling party. And then what happened? Uh, is that not a shift from the position you held then? Political now... parties. So why did you hit the streets then? And no, now no, we're no, even no. seeing Andy's also hit the streets. Please, let me, let me make my point. Political parties have a right to raise concerns with the Electoral Commission. Okay. My issue is not with the NDC raising a concern. I have told you that the law even anticipates that there can be concerns. So the law made provisions on how to address those concerns. So I don't have a so problem. So why did you call for an audit then? Now, now no, I'm, I'm saying, uh, no, I'm saying that. Mm -hmm. You can call for anything that you want to call for. But the law is there, and the law is what the EC is going to use. In our case, what did the EC do? What did they say? President Mahama said, and I'll read it to you, when my senior Amaliba was talking and denigrating the EC, I had to quickly do a search. This is a report by City FM, July 7th, 2016. President John Dramani Mahama has described Ghana's Electoral Commission as one of the best in the world. As one of the best in the world. But I said the same thing. Then... So you determine when the EC is good and when the EC is bad. Today is that, that lies in your pocket. Let's go it ahead. That lies MPP. in the pocket of Amaliba. Today it is populated by the MPP. Is, is it? I'm sure. You are reading. Re no, I've read it. Okay. I've read it. I've, I've cited the source and I've given you exactly where President Mahama So you're saying is the, is the position then is the position now? What, which position then? The now? position that the EC is credible. No, I'm saying that, that he denigrated the EC. I am only recalling, I'm re reminding him of what they defined the EC then. Okay. That the EC is the most credible institution. In fact, his chairman has made a comment. His chairman said, when the ND MPP took the EC to court, General Sedin Ketia said, he cannot trust the person who lost the court case. And the person who ought to be trusted is the one who won the court case. That is what General Sedin Ketia said. Read it for me. I'll find, I'll have it. I have the exact verbiage. I'll read it to you. No problem. But then you also went to court. And when you went to court, you didn't even have evidence. That was the most shameful court case I've ever seen. You went to court, you paraded on the streets, did press conferences, and lied to the good people of this republic that you have won the election. You went as far as stating a figure, stating a figure which you won the election with. You went to the Supreme Court. We asked you for evidence. You said you don't have any evidence. Shameful. Even you losing that case. Going back to what S.A. Dunketia said, that if you lose a case against the Electoral Commission, then you can't be trusted. So according to your own General Secretary, uh, uh, Chairman, your party cannot be trusted when it comes to the Electoral Commission. The point I am making is very simple. One, I don't have any issues if the NDC have concerns about the register. Hmm. They have every right to raise those concerns. I'm wrapping up. They have every right to raise the concerns. But after you raise the concerns, provide evidence of that response. I mean, that concern. Provide evidence. Even if you don't trust the EC, submit the evidence online. Put the evidence online or give it to the media. We've done that. You've done, you have a list of the 310,000. Bring it. I'm hearing this for the first time. Have you seen it? Have you seen the list of 310,000 people? It's a lie. You haven't provided any list. And then you want the EC just as you did in court. When the Supreme Court asked you for evidence, you said, oh, we don't have evidence, but the EC should have the evidence. So compel the EC to bring the evidence. The same thing. That's the same thing you are doing today. Bring your evidence. Oh, we don't have the evidence. But the EC should go and bring the evidence by doing a forensic audit. What does the law say? The law is clear. When you read the CI, it's very clear 
on what the EC ought to do. A voter exhibition, Ghanaians go and check, a copy to the political parties, identify the issues they have, submit the political parties, and the EC will sit around the table and fix those issues. And then come up with a final register. And the law says that give a copy of the, the register 21 days to the political parties. So when do you want us to do the forensic audit, do the stakeholder uh, meeting, and then do the re-exhibition, and then the four other things you've said? We have, basically, we have to do all of that at least 21 days before the election so that the EC can give us the final register 21 days before the election. How are we going to do that? What is today? Is, we are almost at the end of September. So literally, we have October, 30 days. So we should go into... Then November, you have just one week in November. Even one week in November is not enough. At least within 21 days, the EC has to give us the final register. What are you talking about? Stick to the law. How do you reconcile these positions? Because just even in 2016, this is what the Electoral Commission did say, that... Um, there was a composition of a committee led by Justice Crabb, of course, and then the panel finds the argument for new register unconvincing, and then also the panel is of the view that the responsibility for having a clean register is the shared responsibility of all. So this, in this position and in this time and period, no composition of any committee or a body of a sort to look at some of these things and seek a certain redress. Yeah, so let, let, me, let me take this opportunity to wish you a lovely viewers a good morning. Wish my colleagues here a good morning. Uh, well, in my mind, uh, I think if you consider the essence of the elections, and if your view is that is the basis or the foundation for this system of governance we took, where even though we are the repositories of sovereign power, we hand over those powers to the politicians and who we vote for for a period and the means by which we give those powers is uh, through voting then anything that undermines that exercise really attacks the legitimacy of the exercise we are, uh, we, uh, we are taking mm. and because it impacts the legitimacy and the acceptability of the powers we grant, then every, anything or everything that ought to be done, not to undermine that legitimacy, has to be has to be done. So, in essence, everything, all all the issues about the register, which is the basis for which we uh, we vote, essentially is questioning the integrity of the register and, by extension, the integrity of the process. And so for me, I don't think it, 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 uh, uh, an argument that seeks to say that because of the timing and because there's very little time, no, then, no, 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 then, then we shouldn't, is, is and can't be tenable. You understand? Also, because of the peculiar situation that the AC finds itself due to no fault of the S, I, I must say, because the president in exercising his power to appoint the EC, Fail to recognize the need not to appoint people who are perceived, you understand, and the, and the perception is very critical here, who are perceived to have political coloring. Mm -hmm. Already, the AC finds itself in an almost impossible situation in dispensing with its duty. Which is what? Well, the duty of the AC is not only to uh, a, 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 a supervise an election which is free and fair. That is not the duty of the uh, only the duty of the AC. The duty of the AC is to supervise over an election which is perceived to be free and fair. Because I'm talking about legitimacy here. So, so unless the process is acceptable to the ordinary Ghana, to, to, to the people of Ghana, then it can't, it, it can't have, it, it can't be close with the legitimacy that it needs uh, to make the essence of the exercise we are going to undertake important or, 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 or justifiable. So for me, I think, listen, pay the laws also, when the constitution granted the the laws, mm. The, the powers to supervise the election. He also granted them powers to pass laws, the CIs. You, you, you understand? So when we keep on mentioning the law, because of the gravity of the issues being, uh, being raised, the EC is seized with the powers. 
That's because if they have the powers to to uh, to create the CIs, they should also have the powers to amend whatever CI to ensure that at the end of the day, whatever exercise they take and undertake does not lose its legitimacy. Because at the end of the day, there is himself is saying that about 38, the, the Pusiga issue, it has accepted a lot of the allegations made. It's even if, punished its, even uh, if officers, one person, mm. even if one person was in the register yeah. who was not supposed to be in, yeah. even if one person was transferred in a manner which flies against the process, yeah. Then the whole register, the integrity of the entire register, is is is, yeah. is questionable. That's, that's and I, I, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. When you're speaking, I beg you. When you're, I beg you. You are the one. You are the one who I say. I don't do this. Please allow. I don't do this. When you were speaking, you were speaking. Give you a moment, please. I don't do this. No, I don't say. Don't do this. You have the time to rebut to some of these things. I don't do this. And these matters that is raising are not so grievous that they even impugn your integrity. No, please. Whatever it is, you 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 are you are you are you are you are allow you are allow Mr. Mr. Govito, please allow him to talk. Please don't do this. But I beg you, when you do with the Malibu, sometimes I allow these things, and Malibu does him. That's okay. But for him, don't do that. I take serious exception to some of these things because you see, it impacts the the the. No, please go ahead, Mr. Govito, please 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 please. It's okay. No problem. No problem. He says no problem. All of us are on the same page. Please go ahead. You understand? Now, so my my view is even if. There's an issue with one, with just one person. It's, it's, it's not about having issues with. If there's an issue with just one person, in my view, it puts the integrity of the register, which is the foundation of the process of the social contract we are going to undertake with whoever we give, we, we grant our powers to. And because of that, because it, it can impact the legitimacy of the exercise we are going to undertake. Then it is the it, it is a responsibility, ought to be the responsibility of the EC, you understand, to ensure that anything that they will do to grant the register that legitimacy is done. Now, sometimes when, when we talk about forensic uh, audit, and, and, and I must say it's not my position that an audit has to be done, whichever name you call it, whether forensic, whether but an audit has to be done to clear the doubts to grant the, the 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 register that credibility and to ensure that nothing is done that undermines the 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 legitimacy of the exercise we are going to undertake on the seventh of December. Now so to to that end those of us who are privileged to be members of the movement of change are proposing that listen you, the EC, just establish some a high-level technical working group to be chaired by yourself with representatives from all the parties, the candidates, the independent candidates. We all keep on talking and about civil, civil society. Exactly, we all keep on talking about the parties, but really the biggest uh, 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 stakeholders in the electionary process is the people of Ghana. It's not the political parties. It's we, really the people, because at the end of the day, it's, it's the process by which we sign the social contract with government. Yeah, so sometimes you talk, oh, we are going to report. No, the people of Ghana. The people of Ghana are saying that. We do not trust in the integrity of your register. We do not want to undertake an exercise which will lack legitimacy. I don't want to waste my time. We want to undertake an exercise which will, will represent the, the, the will of the people of this country. And we cannot succeed mm. in that exercise if the foundation for that exercise, which is... Well, Pia, the, no, in, that, in, in that response in 2016 by the Electoral Commission to um, the governing party now, which was then in opposition, in point four, they said the Electoral Commission will continue to engage stakeholders and onwardly through an inclusive and collaborative audit process. As an institution, shouldn't their position be straight jacket and consistent? Now, now what's the purpose of what they see? What was they see? Is a body that we, the people of Ghana, have appointed to be referee or to administer the process in which we sign that contract. We transfer our powers to whoever is government. You understand? So they are working at the behest of the people. So, yes, it's the NDC that, uh, that raised issues. But the issues being raised are issues that are of concern to every single Ghanaian. Because the essence of the exercise we are going to take is the process by which we grant our powers, really, to government. You understand? So the biggest stakeholders are the people of Ghana. And that's why I'm saying that because the issues raised, the issues that they have 
considered. You understand? There is a grace that, and it's, and it's not an excuse to say that because it is provisional, then we can make mistakes. Yes, we, we recognize that we are human beings, but we, so we can make mistakes. But when you are, it's like a lawyer drafting a contract. When you draft a contract, the, the first process is after you've drafted the contract, you give it to another lawyer or the, uh, the lawyer on, on the ad, other side to, re, uh, to review. It does not mean that you draft a contract and make mistakes. The, the, the focus is to draft a contract, which in all intents and purposes is perfect. But we recognize that you can make a mistake. So it's not an excuse that, oh, it is provisional. No, the burden on them okay. was to deliver a register, which was perfect. Mm. That was the burden on them. But we recognize that they are human beings, so they can make mistakes. Now, they, now, the mistakes haven't been realized. You understand? And they haven't considered to the mistakes. So a cursory review brought up these mistakes. Why would you have an issue if you are calling for a forensic? Because at the end, what that, what that does Yes, that is to put you in a position where you can fulfill that mandate. The mandate being that to deliver an election which is perceived, not only free and fair, but which is perceived by all and sundry to be free and fair. That's the burden on the EC. And the, person, and the, and the, and the EC cannot discharge that burden if we go and vote come 7 December on the basis of this, uh, what's it called, register. Mm -hmm. You understand? A register, this register, then it undermines the integrity, the oh, legitimacy the of everything uh, we uh, have uh, done. Le Le Jantua, consistently, you find that the Electoral Commission admits that there are mistakes. Even what they themselves say they noticed and so called have corrected, outside that, you also find that individuals within the voter space who are not necessarily aligned to any of the parties, so to speak. They may vote for parties, so to speak, but in their own efforts, based on platforms available for them. They go to, for example, consistently, we have a number of them who, who have shown us. They go and check their names in, the, in their polling station, and then they find their names and even their numbers not consistent with what their details are where they have even been transferred outside their constituency to constituencies in other regions. And these are individual efforts. So let's say somebody doesn't go to check. The political parties don't do that scrutiny. What happens? The Electoral Commission will be, won't, won't know, won't be given notice. Is that not problematic? Good morning to my fellow panelists and good morning to Ghanaian. Unfortunately, the government of the day, in the form of the president and the EC, have neglected laws that they try to hide under. The CIs that are being quoted, being told, the Electoral Commission is independent, CID, CID, CID. They have bastardized it. And I'll give you an example. The EC is the returning officer. The electoral hmm? commissioner. The, sorry, the electoral commissioner is the returning, official returning officer that declares presidential. Presidential. Yes. And it's supposed to declare it how many times? Once. How many times was it declared in 2020? How many times was it declared in 2020? Two, the homosexual bill hmm? from parliament. The, the family values bill. Yes, family values bill. From parliament to the president. What does the law say the president should do? To sign. To sign. And if he is against it, return. he returns it. What did the president do? Is, that, is there no law that governs that? What did the president do? He said what he's waiting for. What? The court. Is there not a law? So they cannot hide under the law to tell us that they can't do A, they can't do B. Ideally, and I keep saying it on this platform, what the EC could have done, there is a body within the EC called IPAC. Mm. And what they could have done was called an emergency IPAC meeting and tell everybody, the NDC have tabled one, two, three, four, five, especially after Mampusi. 
Did they not find... You mean Pusiga? Oh, sorry, Pusiga. Did they not find irregularities that the NDC had talked about there? That means there is a challenge. That one, that one particular issue questions the integrity, the confidence, and the trust in the electoral register. Integrity, and confidence, that, and trust. Yes, and that should be the trigger for the EC to say, come, let's all sit down as political parties and go through this with a fine-tooth comb. What does the EC have to hide? What, what is it that they have? To, they've already shown us they can bastardize the law for their advantage. The president has shown us that the law can be bastardized for his advantage. What's the problem here? Remember, that electoral register, if it's compromised, can cause problem in this country. And we are saying, before the election starts, we found discrepancies with the register. Let's all look at it. And what I don't tend to understand, and I won't only blame my brothers in the MPP, I'll blame the Fourth Republic. Eh? Any time a government comes into being, eh? the EC want to do X, Y, Z. The government in being is supporting EC, even when they are wrong. Even when they are wrong. Why can't we all decide? Why can't the MPP say, okay, they have brought these issues. Let's sit at IPAC and see whether what MPP, NDC is saying is true. If it turns out that NDC is wrong, who, who's, who has the shame on their face? Isn't it the NDC? So what's the challenge? That we have to be going up and down, up and down, up and down. That we can't sit as a country, as an EC, and I keep saying, the electoral commissioner should be a mother to Ghanaians. She should be ready to listen to everyone, especially when we found a discrepancy with the register. And she's not prepared to do that. And unfortunately, my brothers in the MPP are supporting irrespective. Are you trying to tell me that the MPP can tell us that this register is kosher? Can you tell me, are you trying to tell me that? Irrespective of them sitting on platforms and supporting the EC and not pushing the EC to do what the, 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 the people are looking for. And you see, the, the example that you gave, so I've gone. I don't find my name in there. It's transferred. It's election time, election day. What would happen? Will that not be mayhem? You'll be and disenfranchised. The, and the moment mayhem starts, the policemen are standing there, Andy. The policemen will be standing at the polling stations. And the EC, if somebody decides to cause mayhem there, will they not arrest that person? Is he not trying to exercise his franchise? So we are saying, before all this happens, please, let's look at our register and make sure that the register is kosher. Simple. Where's all this confusion coming from? Why should there be confusion that we can't sit and talk about? Why? Are we not all Ghanaians? Are we not all, are we not all, don't we all want to make sure that we have a register, that the, that register will decide the right person that Ghanaians want to go and exercise right. their vote, and, their, their right and franchise? I, 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 really, I don't understand why we are still talking about this, because the EC could have solved this ages ago. Well, Mr. Maliba, now these are the records or the positions of the Electoral Commission. At the end of the day, they say that consistent with what their regulations say, they will do a display. It also means that the information you have, what do you do with it? You, you send it to the EC. Somebody will ask. Wouldn't you? The EC, like I indicated, is an embarrassment when it comes to this issue of... Um, uh, register, provisional register. Why do I say that? You, you expect an election management body to carry along all political parties into the elections. You expect an electoral management body to be transparent with all political parties. You also expect an electoral management body to, as it were, ensure that People are not left behind in all that they do. But look at the 
positioning or the conduct of the Electoral Commission. It is not welcoming. You said that you have already corrected the mistakes. And that's what they say. They said that. Wisdom would have taught them that attached to this petition, they would have annexed the register. You said they would display it. No, no, no. We have an issue with them one on one. One on one. We. So why did they write? What, did they write a letter to dear all Ghanaians? So you are writing. And you said that even before, they even said that before we even came with our problem, they had re started resolving the matters. What stopped you from annexing it? But the often said statement quoted by the MPP that John Mahama said in 2015, you should allow the EC to work. When John Mahama was making those statements, the EC, and I want to tell them, the EC was not populated by party foot soldiers so he can afford to make those statements. Why? And they also say that eh, the EC was today is the same like the EC the last time, the EC of Asarajan, the EC of uh, Charles Asen. As an institution, somebody will... Yes, as an institution. Yeah. If that were the case, why would the president remove Charlotte Osei, particularly when the issues raised were not related to her work as an electoral commissioner. And is this same electoral commissioner who pronounced you victorious in, the last, in, the, in that election? So immediately you did that by removing Charlotte Osei, and what did you do? You did not replace her with a neutral person. Imagine you do that. You populate it with a party foot soldiers. Then credibility. The EC suffers some credibility issues. And that's why we are where we are today. Look at the balloting that took place. Look at the intelligent uh, 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 submission my general secretary made. That what? Then look. Best practices globally, including FIFA. When you go to take the ball, up, uh, to take the ball, you don't look inside the ball. You, you look away and pick the ball. When they were having challenges on how to proceed, one would have thought that the EC would have stamped its authority and said that that is the right thing to do. But you had the MPP man, and it tells you how this country. Is being mismanaged. You heard the MPP man that oh, that is FIFA L I uh, C I. Even though there's nothing like it's FIFA CI, that that's FIFA CI. <laughs> but we have our own CI here. Our own CI doesn't say those things. Can you imagine? Mediocrity, mediocrity. Once they are in power, it doesn't matter. So you see, they are <laughs> banning them from playing football in Ghana. We can't play. Um, our blacks are can't play in Ghana. Mediocrity. I'm talking about how these people have destroyed every institution of state. Mediocrity. And that's their mindset. So your trust for the electoral commission is zero? It's their mindset. They are mediocrity. Right. So I think that it's a political party. We are going to meet, as I told you, and then we'll take a decision on this matter. All right. Uh, my brother, you see, is this the first time we've had issues in the provisional register yes, and political parties have raised concerns about those issues and then those issues have been expunged from the provisional register is this the first time well we, we have the abu ramadan issue of course out of exactly. that court case to an extent where there was even an accusation of uh, seventy-six thousand togoli so-called in the register so wh whatever it is culminated in a committee Led Whatever it is, the point I'm making we have is no that committee currently. we've had instances where the Supreme Court has said, go and expunge these names out of the register. We've had instances up to 580,000 people were asked to be expunged from the register. So to sit here and say that if one, there's one error in the register, then somehow the register 
cannot be cannot be corrected or it, it, it taints the entire integrity of the register. Well, technically, doesn't it? No, the point that I make, we are talking about a particular register. The particular register we are discussing is our, the provision. Our election is based on a proportional representation no, no, bro, bro, I'm calculation. Coming, I'm coming. Yes. We are talking about a particular register. The sure. name of that particular register is provisional register. So that provisional register may have issues, errors. So you don't tell me that if there is one error in that register, it taints the integrity of the final you register. You mean technically it doesn't? Ah, if there is an error in a provisional register, the purpose is that it's a provisional register and it ought to be corrected. And we've gone to court in this country where the Supreme Court has said that to even nullify an election, the evidence must be substantial enough before you can nullify an election. So there can be errors in the voting, etc. But to say that that election is not uh, 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 to be accepted, there ought to be substantial errors to be able to nullify the election. But that is true. That's, yes, that's but that's the point I'm making. So the, 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 the basis of it is that if there is one error, mm -hmm. you cannot use that error to nullify an entire election. Because are, it's not are you serious? Ah, I'm telling the you. The MPP organized I'm, an internal it's election. It's not about what the MPP organized. No, listen, organized listen, listen. No, you, you, you organized an internal yeah. election. And um, in, in, is it well, well, Farouk's constituency is where? That's Yendi. Okay. That was even the Yendi yes, situation. Well, well, and if you look at the vote count before there was a, um, the disruption, mm -hmm. ideally one candidate should take it. Are you saying, my brother, my brother, consistent my brother, with the, brother, with, with the MPP's brother, don't, position? Don't, don't I cite And then you come to Wale Wale, okay. and you are saying those instances could be declared not to be unreasonable. However, if individuals are said to have won that election, a declaration by the Electoral Commission, you are saying that because those reasons cited are not reasonable or unreasonable. No, no, no. You are ascribing so many things to me. No, no, because it's an You are ascribing so many things. I just told you. I, I'm no, only trying to portray no, 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 a situation no, 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 where... No, no, no. The situation are you, saying you are that portraying for... is contrary to the point I am making. Okay, please make your point then. And so let me make my point. The point that I'm making to you is that there's been ruling in this country that before you can nullify an entire election, you have to have substantial evidence that will materially affect... The results before you can nullify an election. Is that not the case? I am just citing that. And I'm only saying that we have a provisional register. The provisional register makes the point that there can be errors. And then there are processes of correcting those errors. So you go through those processes and correct the errors. That is all I'm saying. Now the issue about time argument. That's the time argument... It's a non-starter. What do you mean? We have an election that has to happen December 7th. Is that not? So we should go into the... Uh, no, no, the, no, the, no, the, no, no. Please, 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 please. please, please, please. Oh. Again, if you look at the CI, it even provides time in some circumstances. For example, the CI tells us what to do at specific times, what time durations. I even cited one of them to you. That the CI says that to even conduct the election, you have to give the register to the political parties 21 days before the election. So you cannot ignore time. Are you saying that we can all of a sudden say we won't do the election on December 7th anymore because time doesn't matter? Time matters. So whatever you want to do must, must fit within the time frame because we cannot go beyond December 7th. So you don't tell me that time doesn't matter. It matters. So whatever you want to do must work within the time frame so we can go and participate in the election on December 7th. My brother, uh, uh, my uncle talks about, Mirofa, talks about calling for an IPAC. Mirofa, nobody has said they are not interested in an IPAC. It is the NDC that has said that. The only thing they are interested in are seven things. And they have called what the seven things are. So nobody, the EC uh, or the MPP, has not said that they are not interested in a stakeholder engagement with the political My parties. My point is that the 
EC should call it. No, I'm saying that. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. The EC has not said they're against calling IPA. In fact, the EC has said, give us your so evidence. Why, so speaking why, for the EC so why at all. They, why are they calling it? But why is he speaking for the EC no, at no, all? Kofi Tonto is stating it's, it's, his position. It's, 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 it's mind boggling. No, 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 I'm, I'm not speaking, I'm not speaking for the EC. You are not paying attention. See that? Please go ahead. You are not paying attention. I am only telling you that the EC has said, which is information out there, give us your evidence so we can do the round table process that we normally do, which involves the political parties. Has the EC said that or not? Would that not involve the political parties or not? So what is this argument? That is not too clear. What is not too clear? They haven't said they are going to bring the political parties oh, around the table what are you to saying? discuss the N N no, no, NDC no, no, problem. No, 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 They said they should bring it to no, them. Because, and they will because, sort because there is a convention. There is a convention on how these things are done. Please go ahead. The convention is that if a political party has errors, you present your errors. As part of the exercise of cleaning the errors, etc., the political parties meet around the table and they all participate in it before the final register is issued. That is the convention. No, 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 So, let's, no. <laughs> so right now, as it is, you go through the procedures, and, and so nobody should have qualms about it. No, um, it? Just in case you go, you don't find your name, and you haven't gone to make that assessment or ascertain whether your name is in there. A political party has also not notified the EC about any missing names or transfers that have been done outside the remit of the law, it means that you're on your own on election day. Uh, 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 and that's why we must help the AC to do the right thing, because like I said, what is at stake is the legitimacy of the, of the election. And I see my brother forcefully argue that uh, uh, the Supreme Court uh, says that if uh, what's called? There is no substantial uh, what's called uh, error. That's it. That was even for voting, not registration. No, no, no. no that's voting. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's voting. voting. That yeah. it you can't, must be substantially. Please go ahead. Must, must, uh, yes, but we are talking about registration. Please, please, please. please, please. Talking, and we need to correct. Is it not the registration the matter that, is, that leads us to the voting court matter? Is it not the registration that leads us to the voting? How is that different? We are not to How is that different? Please, please, please. How is that different? We are not talking about as matter and registration. As the Supreme Court pronounced on registration, how do you extend? That how do you not extend? You sat here and extended right. so oh, many what, things. Oh, what are you that, talking about? So we're just talking about those who, who should have logic, their names. I am espousing the, the logic. Name, the logic the I'm voters espousing. But, but you see, I don't know what you all need to understand is that Supreme Courts are not always right, and that's why their positions can and sometimes that. Yeah, Supreme Court's position are not always the right mm -hmm. position, and that's why. Uh, but what, what is Supreme Supreme Court I'm, I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. And that's why over the years. If it doesn't think clear, <laughs> position of the Supreme Court. Is that when he's talking, ah, you like it? Exactly. I don't like that because I don't agree with everything you say, but I don't interject. Sure, right. I don't agree with that way. I mean, you can, I've told you that you can deal with Amalibai. Yeah, because I don't do Listen, yeah, listen, yeah, I don't, yeah. listen Tonto, 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 please. And this, this is the last time I'm saying this. Yeah. You see, I can interject, and, and I can do that very well, but I don't, I don't do that. I don't like that when I'm talking. Please go ahead. Right. You have After, three minutes. Yes, yes, I don't know. I have, I have more, more than three, uh, three minutes. <laughs> you were sitting there and then you interjecting. Yes, and now, now, the position... You claim the, 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 the Supreme Court said it's the position your party was 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 against because the president said after the Supreme Court case that he disagreed and yet he was going to respect it. You understand? The point is, we all want to ensure that we have a register which, for all intents and purposes, is has in, has integrity. Now you are you are talking about evidence. The, the EC itself has, has has considered that they, indeed there are errors. What we are saying is simple. Now to give this register. That integrity, that acceptability, simply establish a technical working group which comprises of all the parties, all the candidates. Yeah, 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 you understand? This group says, this technical group says, now, agree on the processes and procedures for a full and comprehensive audit on the current voter register based on. Why do you think the EC is reluctant to do that? And, 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 you see, and that plays into the belief that the EC is in bed with the ruling. Party. Unfortunately, it may be it may be a mistake. It is a perception. It may be a mistake. But the way the EC is conducting itself, also the manner in which the president irresponsibly appointed people, and I want to emphasize that I see Tonto shock. I'm saying it. I'll say it again. The president irresponsibly appointed people who were who are perceived.
to belong to the MPP onto the EC already has caused a, a, a massive doubt on the ability of the EC to deliver on its mandate. To be independent. Not necessarily, but, but to deliver an election which will be perceived to be free and fair. And so for me, the way the EC is handling itself, fueling into that lack of credibility is, is very irresponsible because of, of the dangers it pretends. Yeah, because of the dangers it pretends. And, and so if we are going to, people are going to demonstrate, people are going to write letters to the EC, whatever we are going to do legally, whatever we are going to do legally to ensure and to help the EC to do the right thing. So that this democracy that people have lost their lives for, this democracy that we fought, yes, that we fought to have, will not be undermined. All right. Lai Once upon a time, and let's be honest with ourselves, once upon a time, my brother, Apia Dankwa, was in the MPP. What's your point? When the president did that, did they talk? I did. Listen, did I'm, they talk? I beg you, let me, let me finish. finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Did they talk? They were in the MPP. Maybe he did. Did the others talk? Yeah, but you mentioned my name, so Please, no, 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 no. Name, no. Well, I said. Please go ahead. But you're representing, no, you're representing a you movement. Name, you're representing a movement. No, but, but you mentioned my name. Yeah, but you're representing you a movement. movement. No, no. Okay, the movement. See how it is. The movement. No, no. Did they talk? <laughs> did they talk? They were quiet. You mean when appear appear? Why didn't they talk then mm. when it was appear done? Appear and the rest were the answer. Why? But look, the major challenge which the EC is forgetting to realize is that the people do not see integrity, do not see confidence, and do not see trust in the Electoral Commission. And that should be their overall concern. How do we get trust, integrity, and trust from the people? Because we are representing the people. Mm. But they don't seem to see it because their minds are twisted. Their minds are twisted? Yes. The Electoral Commission? Yes. Twisted minds? They are twisted because of the way nom nominations were done for the people in the Electoral Commission today. I keep saying, this system where the president nominates the Electoral Commission should stop and should end. It is not helping us. It is not helping us. The others talk. Let me talk. It is not helping the country. It is a system that breeds the kind of perception that doesn't create trust. Look at all our electoral commissioners who came in. They've all had to fight for their survival. They've all had to fight for their survival. Why? Because they've been nominated by the president. That particular clause in our constitution, something should be done about it. Otherwise, this particular situation is going to go on. We need an electoral commission that we can trust. We need an electoral commission that communicates with the people first before government. They are there for who? For the people. They are there to make sure the people can exercise their right to give their power to a group of people who form a government to take care of the affairs of the country. So they have they have an overall responsibility to make sure that they are above board. Look at one of the responses given by the EC in, one of, in, their, in their petition, in their the release, release yeah, to our to. petition. No problem. Failure to provide provisional voter register. That was one of our concerns in time. And I'm using this to make a point against what Tonto said, our electoral processes are time bound. But the EC itself, Breaches those times. Look at what they are saying. The commission provided the PVR, that's the register, to the NDC and all political, other political parties on the, on, the, on the 19th of August this year. Thankfully, the commission's inability, that's admission, thankfully, the commission's inability to provide the BVR earlier did not prevent any political party from scrutinizing the register. So, and then you sit here and say that because they are time bound, we should go into the, into the elections with frivolous and a, a useless register. I've never How? Said, I've never said that. So when he was talking about ensuring that even if one person... You're saying he has never said that. No, there was a submission here that even if it's one person, 
Yes. Because it is time bound, when are we going to do that? How are we going to do this? Don't you, have, don't you need to have the elections on the 7th of December? The elections, the elections of the 7th of December can stay until the register is cleaned. What? You can't carry on with that register. What kind of elections are you going to conduct? Wait, wait, what did you hear? What he said? Can stay, yes. You can change the date? Can stay. What? On what basis? On the premise that what? Why is it that you want discrepancies to in the in this discrepancy? Why do you want to go into uh, uh, an elections with a uh, disorganized register? Why, if not mediocrity, would that be the will of the people? Okay. Would that be? So they must find time within the time. They themselves have indicated that they breached one of their provisions, but hell didn't break loose. So I am saying that. For us to have credible elections, that register must be cleaned to the acceptance of all political parties. You can't go, countries that are at war, as you know some of these things, and you sit here and say that, oh, because of time. What is time? Uh, can I quickly respond? Because, because he's, respond he's made me. accusations that I, I need to respond. What is time? First of all, I have never said that we shouldn't correct issues in the register. You said only, if it's only one, it's no problem. No, no, I don't no, know. no, 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 you, you didn't understand my no, argument. I, what's your please, argument? Please, 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 please. I said that huh. if there is a register and the register is called provisional register, it anticipates that there can be oh. errors. So whether it's one, two, or three, we should go through the process of cleaning that register before a final register is given. What did you talk about time? Talk I, about and time. I said that uh -huh. you have to operate within time. But, but no you time. must clean that register. I no, said it here. No time. You said there's no time. No, I've never said. said oh, no, please, time. please. You said there's no Senior, time. Senior, let me talk. Mm, mm. Because I know what I said. I am saying that we have to operate within Let's time. Let's play it back. And operating within time, the, cons the CI provides ways the of lines. auditing. Yeah. And the timelines. And the timelines. So need to be met. do the auditing and the correction and no within the timeline. Okay. You, you can't no do that. So, so let me ask you something. So, 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 Mr. Tonto, Mr. Tonto, no, 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 Mr. Tonto, no, 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 would, you, no would you say, if the Electoral Commission mm -hmm. has a register yeah. that is fraught with these problems, yeah. we could still meet the deadline for December 7th? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm saying that the Electoral Commission must do whatever it takes to clean those errors. So now in you the agree register. that if no, we, I have agreed from the beginning again that if we have a problem with the register, December seven it. cannot hold. No, 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 no. I've never said that. No. What are you saying? I, why I, why I you am keep asking you a question. Things to me? No, I'm asking you a question. It's a question. No, I'm saying that the deadline, the election is December seventh. Yes. The electoral commission must work within that time frame to clean the errors in the register. And provide the right register that we are all satisfied with. Within that, I've never changed my mind. Right. Okay. You've not paid attention to my argument. No, a, let's not get personal, please. No, okay. no, 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 no. I've never yeah. changed my so, mind. So, but so I, briefly, I haven't got him personal. My big brother says something. Yeah, I think I need to respond to. So you see, when the president made the decision, the decision I call irresponsible in appointing people who are perceived to be MPP people onto the EC. People, including, including myself, publicly on Pan African TV on a number of networks openly disagreed vehemently with the president. At that time, there was no movement for change. So movement for change couldn't have had its position. Now, when the time came for us to leave the MPP, one of our fundamental reasons was that the MPP, a party that was supposed to be the home for all adherents of the values of liberal democracy, has moved from those values. And those values include, uh, 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 as in, not appointing people who are perceived to be to, to have political coloring in to the AC. It's one of the fundamental reasons why we moved. So senior, I beg you, when we were in the MPP, I can mention myself publicly on Pan-African TV, on a number of stations, Solomon Usu, and so many are other you people. people were the renegades, eh? when the So many open. people who left who have left the MPP vehemently opposed openly the president. And you were one of them. Uh, and then I can I'll, I'll give you videos. I'll give you a lot of videos where I went on Pan-African TV, uh, Alaji Alaji, about a 40 minutes expose on why the president can't do and that. And you were not coming here to say. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So maybe, but, but and, so, uh, and so, senior, that's it senior, just knock and enter. Me <laughs> neither. When we were in the MPP, we, we opposed myself and our videos, a lot of videos. All right. Solomon, so, so many You've other. Made and, your point. and finally to end, mm. but officially, mm. The movement for change has also petitioned the EC. Uh -huh, you see. Officially. But we, that's their response. They said. Uh, officially. And that's why we are saying that. Listen, 
and, and, and I stand on all fours with what Masinia Amaliba here is saying. There is much fun time. If it means don't sleep. And that's what I'm saying. Let's just create a working committee of all the parties, all mm -hmm. the candidates. Let's sit together. Let's, let's agree on the process. Let's work ac 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 across the clock to okay. ensure that, and we can do that later by 11th October. La, la, Pia, Danko, what's your, no, 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 ju no, just, no. just for two minutes, what's your view on the, the current issues and then the prosecution of the protesters? Just two minutes on this. Sorry. I don't... In fact, it, it, it's sad that it's just two minutes. I have so many views. So one. No, two minutes. So, 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 so I'll just state my views. So first of all, we have under consideration, we have a right to, to demonstrate under our laws. And I know the police, what we need to give the police is notice. Two. So that's that the first view. Second, the second view is that we have a right to demonstrate, but we do not have a right to breach the law in demonstrating. You don't have a right to destroy people's properties. Well, in there are videos that they block roads, etc. Uh, well, no, no, but they, they defaced, mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Uh, what's and called? then they block roads. Uh, and then, in fact, what even is, is we should condemn, is I understand one of them actually, uh, what's called? The keys. The keys. And other than. Because he no, was, Oliver Bakabo, yeah, it's because a video clearly uh, his yeah. focus is not to fight for Galamse or to fight. And, in, in, and also, Galamse is already illegal. So why? For me, my view is that the demonstration ought to have took, ought to be one that will call for the for the resignation of the president because he slept on his job. As when you just go and demonstrate, you mean even they should have gone to that extent? That that that, that is what because, because Galamse is already our lord. So if you say you are going to demonstrate for Galamse, but it is already our lord per 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 laws. But somebody has slept on his job, and that has caused the Galamse and all, all his friends. So demonstrate and call for his resignation. Why well, are they afraid? If you just go and demonstrate, oh, they can, uh, do, do you think they should have been yes. remanded two weeks? No, I disagree with that view. But uh, it's in court, and you know I can't share my view. But uh, my view, I, I disagree. But like I'm saying, finally. We have a right to demonstrate, and all we need to do is to give notice, not per per permission. Right. But when you are demonstrating, also don't breach the law. And finally, on the what the jihad is on, that one is, is, is in court. So I'm who I'm the of the, the judge. judge. So I'm, I'm, I'm... the demonstrators. Which of the two is legal? Galamse and demonstration. Which is legal? You mean which one is more? Yeah, 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 which, is le which is legal? And shouldn't the police be attacking exactly. the legal one? Should, isn't that what they should You are saying that the force that the police and is directly exerting on. Is Galamse legal? Is demonstration legal? What does the constitution say? Is the constitution, is Galamse in the constitution? Is demonstration in the constitution? Which of these is legal? Shouldn't the police be attacking and sorting out Galamse? And let me ask the question. In front of the Flagstaff House, is, not, is it not a free thoroughfare? <laughs> right now, a car's not passing there. Mm. Eh? They say it's a military area. Is it blocked? Can you go to Burma camp and drive anyhow? Is it's that a, not a military it's a area? Security uh -huh. zone. It's a security zone. In front of Flagstaff House, a security zone. And you're trying to tell me that the police can't say, look, guys, we will allow you to demonstrate in front of Flagstaff House, but make sure you stay within the law. Because if you don't stay within the law, we'll deal with you. And make sure you monitor them to do it. Who are they protecting in Flagstaff House that they blocked the road? Who? Who are they protecting? Are they protecting the president? Hasn't the president slept on his job? The president is in America right now receiving what? Uh, uh, rewards. And his country is at war. Ghana is not at war. Ghana is at war. The UN, the UN, the ICC say any attack on water bodies is a war yes. to the country. Yes. We are at war with Galamseyes and he's in America doing what there. I hope eh, his fellow presidents will speak to him before he comes back. Because his responsibility is first to the people of Ghana and Galamse is killing her. Yesterday, did you hear the news from the Western region? that women are beginning to have problems with the pregnancy childbirth. and childbirth, and it is prematurely uh, uh, what aborting the children from the water they are drinking. Did you hear the people telling you that they are having to use alum? They wait for the water to settle underneath the bucket, and they use the, the, the water to use alum to clean. Are there no chemicals in there? And the president, your responsibility is to make sure that Ghanaians are safe. 4th uh, August, didn't the president come to our homes to tell us about J.B. Dankwa being the founder? Did he not? Has he been able to come to our homes with this Galamse thing? 
I give it to him. He tried to put certain things in place. Those things didn't work. Is he not supposed to come back to us and speak to us as our president? If for nothing at all, he has three months left to leave. Eh? Call everybody, stakeholders. Call former president uh, uh, Mahama, former president Kofu, Asante who was taking the lead, CSOs. Look, guys, I've left, it's left three months for me to leave. However, we need to deal with this Galamse problem once and for all. But he was at the UN. He said everything is fine. So I'm trying huh? to reconcile what he, he said. Everything is what? At he said that the, at the people in the UN in Ghana. The election will be free and fair. We are not so talking about to... election. We are talking about something that is going to end Ghana. That's what we are talking about. And Galamse can end Ghana. Water. Water. Water is life. Water is life. If he doesn't see water is life and that he imports water and drinks water, he should go ahead and do what he's doing. Because as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to see my president checked out when he hasn't left. No, we have to be we categorical. Do, we have we no evidence that the president He's checked water. out. Has he been able to solve that? We have no evidence that the president imports water. That, listen, no, listen. Please. The albatross of President Mahama was Dumso. Mm -hmm. The albatross of President Akufuado is Galamse. He should deal with it on our behalf before he leaves. Sorry, two minutes. On the remand of the protesters, where you've seen is the, the videos. Where, uh, where is the moribund? And I want to repeat again. Where is the moribund? Moribund Ghana Bar Association in all these matters. Aren't you a member of the Ghana Bar Association? Where is that moribund Bar Association that has become a chopper? Are you saying that you, you belong to People's rights are being violated and the bar is mute about it. See why I've been criticizing them? Amnesty International spoke this morning. Mm. Amnesty International. A lot of agencies you see, have been speaking, actually. What the judiciary should also understand is that they must protect protesters. Because it is provided in the Constitution. Demonstrations are provided in the Constitution. When there are excesses, we don't use a sledgehammer Eesh. to kill an ant. <laughs> you don't use a sledgehammer to kill an ant. You use a bulldozer. You understand? You don't use a sledgehammer to kill an ant. So bulldozer. when these people have gone into excess or have done things in excess, remanding them for two weeks for what purpose? Post. Or the block rules. I understand, I understand. Do you understand that I'm talking about the quantum, the, the magnitude, the magnitude. I've not for once supported the excesses. But do you use a sledgehammer to kill an ant? So the judiciary should also ensure that they protect protesters. Why? What are they protesting about, Galamse? This morning, you heard the pharmacy council. I don't know whether you heard it. Yeah. That the drugs that we are pro they are producing. They are finding it difficult to distill the water and to produce those, those drugs. Now, if you are a judge and you are taking pills, you are taking pills, would you be taking those things? The judge will be taking pills, taking pills. Uh, yes. So this fight, this fight is also for the judges. This fight for Galamse to stop and asking the president to act. It's also for the judges. So they should understand. This two weeks is excessive. You don't do that. Why? This, this is a misdemeanor. This is not a first degree felony. Mm. This is not a second degree felony. Mm. So why do you put them in two weeks? Mm. Two weeks. You see, uh, two minutes, sir. The people we are talking about openly said that Ghanaians are animals anyways, and it is okay for some to die. Which people? The Democracy Hub. That's that video. He said that Ghanaians are animals. Well, listen to me, please. I'm listening. He said Ghanaians are animals, and it is okay for some to die. This happened when they were blocking 37 military hospitals. And a civilian walked up to them and said, look, you have a right to demonstrate, but not in front of a hospital. I have to bring my, my mother to the hospital. So please. Then the gentleman, Ralph, one of the leaders, came and said, Ghanaians are animals anyway. It is OK for some to die. Then the guy asked him, what if it was your mother who was there? Then Ralph responded, my mother is not a Ghanaian anyways. Those are the people we are talking about offer. The very death that you are scared of, they don't care. They are saying that it is okay for us to die anyways. What is their motive? You want to demonstrate. Police tells you that we have seven locations that you can go and demonstrate. You say, no, I will go and illegally assemble in front of a hospital. Do you know that they illegally assembled in front of the hospital? Where in the Constitution does it say you can illegally assemble? 
I'm talking about. No, where now. you said demonstration is so. Stamp no, no, house. no. Please, please. You said you said here. I said that it is it house. is legal to demonstrate. Nobody has disputed that. But what they did was illegal. They demonstrated in front. Go and look, look, look at the Public Order Act. Can you demonstrate <laughs> to the detriment of the very health that you claim you are fighting for? But don't can you it, demonstrate it the first to the detriment of the very health road? we are fighting for? Is it the I'm first surprised, Offer, that after I said what I said, it doesn't even bother you what the young man said. That we are, we are Ghanaians, it's okay for Ghanaians to die anyways. How come you haven't been playing that video? Which on TV? video? The video I just told you I about. I haven't cited the video. You haven't cited I've it? I've, I've, hey. I've, I've allowed TV you to make that TV3 hasn't but cited he that video. He, he represents TV3. I haven't cited it. And that TV3, is a fact. Please yes. find it and play it. Uh, but you said it. You find have it. it. Find, you have I it. have the video. Please send it to okay, me. Okay, I'll send it to you. Mm. Find it and play it. For all Ghanaians to please see. Please send me the video. That irresponsible comment. Fi that we are all animals and we can die anyways. I'll allow you to stay to the video. I'll send. Oh, no problem. That marriage two weeks. No, I'm not saying. No, 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 no. I'm always stop. Stop alluding things to me. that one. Stop we'll alluding things to me. The what I am bad. saying is that Amnesty International should know that we have a constitution. Amnesty International. You, you see, somebody just said that Amnesty International. You have quoted Amnesty International in the past, though. No, 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 no. Copiously. Some, somebody here. But, but they should know that we have a constitution. No, I'm saying that they should know we have a constitution. Mm. Which constitution? I'm saying that you have cost, uh, ah, quoted. You mean as a party? Yes. Oh, okay. I'm okay. I, I don't have a problem. Abuses. And... I don't have a problem. I'm saying that they should know that we have laws, and the Public Order Act. And ensures that you don't go to health locations mm. and then block health access to health care. Mm. It, it, it ensures that you don't destroy people's properties. It ensures that you don't uh, um, uh, harass people. Did you people. hear the ambulance service say that um, yeah, there were there were obstructions, but I don't they need, were made? I don't need the ambulance service to say that. You don't trust them again? No, no, no. I'm saying that. No, no, I'm saying Coffee that. Tanto. No, 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 no. No, um, me, me, no, no. Lawson, Why don't you allow Lawson, me to talk? Lawson says... You say something. Um, what, it's I didn't, so bad. You don't even allow I me to talk. See, I don't get it. It's so bad. When I see our age mates in politics... Uh, know what the truth is and they refuse to change the status quo. What happened yesterday when wrong should not be made right today. What is the age? So they will compare who is he's talking about here. <laughs> age mate. So what is his age? All right. So and uh, then uh, I have. Well, you can compare. Oh, is it you? The truth is the ah, truth. But why are you worried? I will I'm, not support I'm not, anybody is who says I am worried an animal. Don't do. The and man says that. Nelson Akotia says come here, come here, come here. the EC suggested November for the election earlier. What register were they ready, ready with before suggesting November? And all of you claim you didn't hear. All right. And then we have um, also Dewa as well. So um, <laughs> I have uh, Arunet. Arunet Press says, what is Mr. Tonto talking about? Has Dr. Baumia? When in 2016 presented, or how has he presented any evidence to the EC before? Uh, there was a uh, concern they had about 76 Togo. Um, Togolese. Togolese in the register. They they presented uh, yeah, information data. To, all right. No, he's he's, he's, he's only he's only referring. It's a message. Relax. It's a message. 